Alright, so this is part three of the advanced array animation tutorial. So this is what we did last time. So let's just go ahead and continue here. Let's go to frame 400. So let's just see through this whole animation just by itself here. Let's go ahead and hide the arrays here. Just press, shift, right click them and press H. So let's just press Alt A so you can see the actual animation here. It's looking pretty nice. It'll look a lot better when we add some lights and textures and things like that. And of course, if we see things that are too slow or too fast, we can always speed them up later with uh, the animation curves or interpolation curves or IPO curves, as they're called. So. Okay, so that was pretty smooth. Cool, so Alt H here. So let's just continue here. So let's go up to uh, frame 30. Select two here. Oops, sorry. Uh, there we go. Let's see if this go ahead and make something more. Uh, different than what it is because it's pretty uniform now. Okay, just go ahead and press R. I'm just pressing R here. Okay, all I did was press R on each one while I was in, let's see, what is this front or side view? It's more like three quarter view to the left of the front view here. So I'll select all again, R, I mean I, lock rot scale. We'll just check how much time I have left because I didn't check what time we started at. So two minutes. Okay. Uh, cool. So let's see how that looks. Cool. Let's go up 40 frames here. Select the cube again. I don't want to do that. So, see, uh, now that we start getting into more, more things, it's hard to get some uh, some variety. So let's go ahead and just rotate number two, and then we'll rotate number one as well. Let's rotate it this way. Spread it out like that. That looks cool. Lockout scale. Okay, so let's go up frame 50. Let's press RZ with the cube selected. And uh, let's just keep. I don't want to rotate it that way because then we'll get the same effect we did earlier. Hmm. Let's see how we can make this a little bit more interesting. Hmm. Okay, let's just press RX and rotate it like that so it spirals down. Uh, into let me get spiral down into right about there. So okay, so now uh, we can go ahead and you know one thing we haven't done yet is move. So now that uh we're at frame 500, we're halfway there. Let's go ahead and start and move things. So let's select one here. Let's go ahead and press G to move it. Then we'll just like uh, right about there, I think. Looks good. I lock our scale. One, two, three. We're just going in increments of 30, 20, and 40, it seems. So let's select two now. And then we can go ahead and. Uh, I don't like the way that's moving like that, so. Yeah, I think we should just stick to one here. So select one. They can go ahead and scatter them out. Like a, let's just make them really scattered for the moment. Just for this frame here. For that, just for that, just so we can have one of those eerie frames here. So, select everything, I, lock out scale, and then we'll select the cube here, press G, and we will, let's go ahead and try and bring them in again. Actually, did we go on this frame yet? Yeah, so, forgot to go up a couple frames. 6D. 
So let's go ahead and bring, bring it back into right about there. Bring in number two into right about there. And then we'll go ahead and take the cube here and rotate it. So try to rotate it uh, the other way. So uh, we can just get it a little more compact. Maybe scale it down a little bit. Yeah, let's go ahead and scale it down. So we can get, it looks, it's a little bit of an exploded, imploded effect, kind of, I guess. In order to move this, by the way, you just uh, left click or click with the middle mouse. Yeah, that drags it along. So let's just move this all the way over here. Okay, we might want to just stop at uh, 850 frames so that we won't waste as much time. So now that we're here, let's go up to frame 90, 590. And then we can just go ahead and, let's see, let's just rotate the cubes like that. And we will rotate this one like, like so. You see it's hard to get them uniform at this point. So just press R and move it this way like that. Let me show you. Sorry, that wasn't very cool. So just press R, move it over until you get about there, and then press R, R for trackball mode. We can go ahead and get them straight like this. That looks kind of neat. Yeah, we don't want to do that right now. So there we go. I like that scale. Now let's go up to five. Let's go off 60 frames and get one of those erratic poses again. So let's go ahead and select the cube here. Make them like that. Click number two. Oh, let's go to front view here. Rotate them like this. Scale them down. Select the, uh, number one and rotate them like this and scale them down. Then we can go ahead and take the cube and just move it inward like this and then rotate it kind of. Cool. I location. Let's go up another 50 frames. Oops. Yeah, I pressed I. Uh, I don't think I selected everything on that one. Sorry. Okay, so now 700, frame 700. Let's just go ahead and select the cube here. Um, what do we want to do here? We're just messing around. You know, it's not really that complicated. Okay, we'll rotate all the. We'll just press R to rotate with number two. Sorry, I lock out scale. Then we'll select this one as well. Bring it in. Maybe scale some up now. I lock out scale and then we'll rotate the view, rotate it around like this. And then we'll just do incremental. Um, why is the lamp here? Let me delete that. Incremental um, movements, just minor, but they make a difference. Okay, so that's good. Let's go ahead and check that out here. We're almost done. Okay, that's actually looking pretty cool. And um, yeah, let's just we're gonna stop this at um, not 1,000, but let's just stop it at 850. That's good. So we're just gonna do three more key keyframes. So let's go up to 750. Oh, let me check what time it is. Oh uh, yeah, we're out of time. So next part, we'll go ahead and finish this up. We'll go back here. All right, so. Next part, we'll go ahead and finish up the animation. So, thanks for watching, and be sure to watch the future tutorials on this. Alright, thanks. Bye.